Welcome everyone to House on Beekman's Virtual Benefit Rooted. My name is Steven. And my name is Tylen, and we will be your hosts for this evening. We know there are people watching in from all over. Let us know in the chat where you're joining in from. This event is called Rooted because for the past decade, AHOP has been impacting the lives of families in the South Bronx, and we're celebrating that. Tonight you will hear powerful stories from our community, and you'll get a closer look at into the incredible programs that are making differences in the young lives of the South Bronx. We're hoping to raise $400,000 tonight, and we have two generous donors that are willing to match every single dollar. Wow, that's an amazing opportunity. Stick around to the end of the night for a very special performance from our own AHOP dance team. Which I am in. It's gonna be great. In a moment, you'll hear from our executive director, Sloan Hedrick, on how House on Beekman's roots have kept us grounded for so long. And we are honored to have you here to celebrate with us. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. It is truly an honor to have you as our virtual guest this evening. It's been exactly 10 years since I first met Sarah Miller at a mom's meeting on the Upper West Side of New York City. I'll never forget how my heart jumped inside when Sarah mentioned that she was looking for a volunteer to help start some classes for moms and babies in the South Bronx. I was a new transplant to the city, but I knew right away that I was being called to join Sarah on this journey. I also never dreamed that I would be standing right here in the same shoes that Sarah wore, working alongside a staff of 27 amazing men and women with five fully functioning programs that span the age groups from babies all the way through high school. What started as a simple desire that a young woman had to be a good neighbor has grown into a community of hope with families working side by side as together we pursue renewal and restoration in a South Bronx neighborhood that has long been written off. When our journey began in that little house on Beekman Avenue, we began to identify some of the strands of a house on Beekman's DNA. These elements, which became known as our five strategic anchors, created the conditions for the seeds that would be planted over the next several years. As we've watched those seeds grow and mature, it's become abundantly clear that we are where we are today because of the strong roots that have taken hold in that rich soil. Our first strategic anchor, Birth to Career Support, is the closest to my heart and the very lifeblood of a house on Beekman. As we started to become like family with our babies, toddlers, and caregivers, we knew we weren't okay to just send them on their way and say goodbye as they began to enter the world of formal education. Tonight, you'll be hearing from five of our original babies who were the inspiration for our partnership with New York City's Pre-K for All program. These same students have become a vital part of our Beyond School program, which allows us to stay connected to them through their elementary, middle, and high school years, maintaining that sense of community and care throughout their entire educational journey. Our next anchor, Rooted in Relationships, was a given from the start. There is no trust or real sense of connection without deep relationships. When we met young moms who wanted to make sure that their kids had a fair shot at a successful career path, we developed relationships with these moms and worked side by side in creating paths for their children using the best building blocks for their childhood years in order to make sure they entered their college and career years from an equitable starting point. The third and fourth strategic anchors, long-term flourishing of families and comprehensive care, are similar in highlighting that we're not here for just a few days or for just a few kids and families, or only to support our children academically. We believe in seeing our neighbors holistically, knowing that mental, physical, and spiritual health are just as important as having a steady job or making good grades. 
We want our families to be given the support they need to become healthy, thriving units who are then able to give back to their community. The last anchor, purposefully local, means that we've chosen to invest in the six block radius that comprises the Mott Haven community. Many of our staff live in Mott Haven or very close nearby, and we see our program participants as neighbors and friends, not clients. We shop in the same grocery stores, we visit the same bodegas, we take our kids to the same park, and we hope for the same renewal in our community. The house in our logo is there for a reason. We started out as a family, and 10 years later, we're still a family. This past year has felt like a series of tests thrown at us, determining how many times we can get knocked down and still get back up. The disproportionate effects of COVID on our community have led to immense loss of lives, jobs, and housing. In addition to the pandemic, we've also struggled with the racial and political tensions that are always bubbling just under the surface, leaving our neighborhood feeling depleted and disoriented. But if the South Bronx is anything, it's resilient. We've had to become really creative in the ways we support our families through technology, shared resources, and sometimes unconventional methods for learning and teaching. But more than anything, we have stayed connected with our families and with each other. We know that we need each other now more than ever. And we've worked hard to ensure that no one feels alone as these weeks and months have dragged on. We could never have done this without the faithful prayers, love, and support from you, our House on Beekman friends and family. Words cannot express the gratitude we feel for sticking beside us through this year of change and transition. We're able to face each day with hope and excitement about the next decade of A House on Beekman because of your partnership and support. As our new fiscal year approaches, we want to deepen our roots, emerging from the pandemic with strength and clarity. We've hired a chief operating officer who is overseeing our efforts to strengthen systems, staffing roles, program evaluation, and data measurement. We've also moved into a new building, allowing us to expand our early childhood classroom capacity. And for the first time, we have dedicated office space and shared meeting areas for families and staff. We hope to hire a full-time family advocate to assist with trauma and mental health issues that have arisen in children and adults alike. We also hope to grow our partnerships with area schools by increasing the hours and scope of our staff. We depend on the generosity of our friends and families across the world to not only continue our current efforts, but to grow the impact that a house on Beatman can have in our South Bronx community and beyond. Thanks again for joining us tonight. You are in for a real treat as we take this virtual journey together. You'll see the seeds that were planted all those years ago in our beloved house on Beekman Avenue and how those seeds have sprouted, grown and blossomed into an organization that we believe has created a divine smile from above. We invite you to join our family in giving thanks for all a house on Beekman has been given and celebrating all that is yet to come. I knew she was special from the day she was born. She was so beautiful. When I looked into his eyes, I felt peace. I just wanted him to feel my love and know that it's unconditional. I knew my life would never be the same. Becoming a mother, I was nervous though too. I didn't want kids when I was younger because I didn't have the support I needed to raise a child.
The first time I was pregnant, I was scared and stressed out. I knew I needed help, but I didn't know who to turn to. I wanted the best for my son, but no one gave me a manual on how to raise a kid. The way I was raised, kids didn't have a voice. I wanted to parent differently, and her birth was a fresh start for me. In the South Bronx, we value community, togetherness, and our diversity. We've always done things our way, but when a house on Beekman came to the community, things started to change. I was curious, and I knew it was something I wanted to be a part of. My family and I didn't have a church home, so I was happy that we had a place that we could come and learn about God. I brought my daughter Jalise to the Mommy and Me program. I finally had people around me who were supportive and made me feel more equipped to be a great mom. For the past 10 years, a house on Beekman has changed the lives of our children. Their programs and support has allowed kids to become educated, families to grow, and our community to begin to heal. Kids need a place that they can call home outside of home. They need people who are going to advocate for them, people that they can count on. A house on Beekman is that place. They are helping our children understand that they can make positive changes in their own lives and the lives of others in the community. My name is Jalise. I'm artistic, courageous, and loving. A house on Beekman has taught me how to be brave. My name is Dwayne, and I'm creative, caring, and loyal. At a house on Beekman, I'm learning to use my voice. My name is Tylen, and I am ambitious. My name is Steven and I am determined. My name is Skyla and I am becoming a leader. I love what we do here. I love that we have something like a house on Beekman in this community. I wish I had that when I was a kid. As staff, we have the opportunity to invite other families into the community of support that we've been able to experience. We get to reinvest what we've been given. Nobody thought that it was gonna last this long, but it's in our mission statement. We're walking alongside Jesus to renew the South Bronx. We know this is the sort of thing that takes time, so we're not going anywhere. We believe that there is no limit to our kids' potential. Tonight we are celebrating an exciting milestone. Up next, you hear from the original group of babies who are turning 10 this year. What's special about this group of you guys that's here. What's special is that some of us been going to the after school since we was little. That's right. So you guys have actually been our kids that have been with us for the whole time pretty much, right? How many years has that been? Do you have any idea? Delise, what do you think? 
we've been in this, this program for nine or ten years. You're right, for ten years. So, so I'm wondering, um, when you think about a house on Beekman, what do you think about? What, what words come to your mind when you think about a house on Beekman? I feel like it's my house, and I feel like I'm a part of, like, they're my family. It feels incredible. It feels amazing because then I get, I just get to make new memories, and I can maybe share that with my kids and my grandkids. Um, the first things that come to mind when I think of a house on Beekman is kind and I think of how some big men has my family. I think it's fun. Do you have any memories from over the years that you like to think about? Um, in summer camp when we went to um, Coley Island. What did you do at Coney Island? Do you guys have memories from that? Played games. I think I won this water log thingy. So here's a question. I wonder how you would tell us, how has A House on Beekman helped you grow up? Because you've grown up a lot over these past nine and 10 years. How has A House on Beekman helped you grow up? By helping us with homework. Yeah, lots of homework help across those years, huh? Skyla? It helped me make good decisions and be a good sister. A good but strict sister I am right now. I think like learning like like math and like reading. How about you, Jalise? How has the house on Beekman helped you grow up? Uh, a house on Beekman helped me grow up. Like it's helped me on my math and ELA, and it helped me with like my homework and and it's helped me learn things I never knew how to do before. All right, I have a really big question for you. You ready? What are your hopes and dreams for yourself? Uh, my hopes and dreams is to become an artist or a dancer. Skyla, what are your hopes and dreams? My hopes and dreams is to be is to study hard, go to Harvard, um, become either a doctor, a model, or a doctor. Wow, Harmony, what are your hopes and dreams? My hopes and dreams is to be successful, smart, have lots of money, and a mansion. Well, I think we have a pretty big surprise for you guys. We have something we want to show you. Can you close your eyes for a second? Keep your hands out. All right, open your eyes. I already heard. Is this baby? me or is this baby? Like I have this ah, picture. Look at this picture. Oh. My dad has this picture in this room. How does that make you feel to see yourself that age? It makes me feel weird because it's just like I'm I'm seeing pictures of me and like it's like I'm reliving being in pre-K all over again and I look exactly the same. So Why I'm just in the like, world do I look totally different than these two pictures? Because that's when you was in Babysit 3 and that's when you was in pre-K. No. Are you no. Right there in my she looks like her little brother, not even going to lie. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Like you have the same things in everything. My brother have a watermelon head. <laughs> <laughs> Harmony has a picture of Chanel and her. Do you want to show the camera that picture? How does that make you feel about your friendship from all those years ago? Um, good because it shows how close we are. Thank you guys for sharing all your memories of a house on Beekman. I'm so glad you've been with us since all these years, these 10 years, and I hope you're with us for 10 more, maybe <laughs> even 20 or 30 more. I love you so much, and you'll always be our most special babies from the very beginning. We love you guys. Thanks for being here today. I love you too. I'm 30 years old, I will be 29. No, you're gonna be 40, because we're, we're all, she's turning 10 years old.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Keontae Craig, and I'm a parent of two boys that attend the House of Beekman after school program. One thing that I noticed with my youngest son who attended House of Beekman pre-K program is that he has a desire to learn. Um, and I know that stems from the program with Mrs. Katie and Miss Josmati. Both of my sons have definitely taken a relationship with not just the staff as teachers, but almost as his family, like Mr. Justin, I have personally asked him to be my children's mentor. For me, it's about not just support, but it's really a community for me and my family. They are a staple within our community. Everyone looks forward to their children going to House of Beekman. You can expect honesty. You can expect commitment to your children. I believe that uh, the children that participate in AHA program, they are leaders. To me, they stand out from a lot of the children, especially within our neighborhood. They're very respectful. They take each other in. Um, and they just really look out for each other as a community. I think the future of the South Bronx has become reliable on a House of Beekman. I think in the future, if House of Beekman is not there, it definitely would leave a empty spot in our community because the relationship with House on Beekman, it's established and it's something that we want in our community. A lot of our community members do not feel as though they have the support elsewhere. That is something that is necessary within this day, within this time, within the pandemic. If House of Beekman could expand, could you imagine, I, I, I only could imagine the future of our students the future of our parents and our community members because they have that type of impact on not just the education of our children, but they have an impact on our personal lives. As a mother, as a friend, as a community member, I am looking forward to the great things that a House of Beekman will and become. I hope that I'm also a part of the process. And if there's anything that can be done. I am here to rally up whatever truth that is necessary. We hope you're enjoying the program so far. I love to see those original babies grow up so fast. We want to hear from you. Take a moment to write what you love about A House on Beekman in the chat. One thing I love about A House on Beekman is how much they've seen me grow. They really do know me. One thing I love about A House on Beekman is they're there whenever we need. Hi, my name is Rasan Graham, and I've been working with a house on Beekman for about a year now. A former colleague of mine asked me if I'd be interested in coming into a house on Beekman's work as they were beginning to think about the impact that they were having and the return on the investment of their supporters. And so I'm excited to be here as a part of this team and really looking at the outputs and the outcomes and the impact of their work. And we know that impact takes a long time to achieve. And so what is unique about A House on Beekman is the way that they've structured their programming really gives them continuity and deep relationship with the community members that they're working with. From their Babies to Three program, all the way up to taking high school students to visit colleges around the country. They're truly having an impact in the South Bronx. My hope, and I'm sure your hope, is that they will continue to impact the lives of these individuals in a unique and special way as they join God in renewing the South Bronx. I wanna thank you again for coming tonight. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening as you prayerfully consider how you can support the work that a house on Beekman is doing in the South Bronx. Good evening. My name is Daniel Esteves. I am the community representative on a house on Beekman's board of directors. I live in the South Bronx community. My children have participated 
on in a Hassan Bigman's programs. And more recently, I joined the staff of a Hassan Bigman's as a teacher in the preschool. So I am here tonight to invite you to partner with an organization that means a great deal to my family and me. Since 2011, a Hassan Bigman has been serving my community by providing to new parents, offering high quality early education and investing in students' academic and social and emotional health. A Hassan Bigman has always been a movement that was built from within the community, by the community, for the community. What makes this organization so special, it is the commitment to this neighborhood and the deep belief that God loves the people of the South Bronx and is working toward the renewal of this neighborhood. We do this work because we believe that God has invited us to join him in the work that he's already doing so we can be part of helping our neighbors live their full potential. This past year has been very hard to my community. COVID has caused my community many lives, many jobs, and financial and housing stability. Thanks to donors like you, a house on big months was able to provide remote tutoring and learning opportunity for our kids. My family, especially, enjoyed the virtual cooking classes with all the ingredients delivered straight to my door, as well as special activities and materials tailored for each child's interest. We are extremely grateful that we have already overcome many of the challenges of the pandemic. As we look forward into this next year, we feel confident that we will come out of this even stronger than we were before. Each of you tonight have the power to help the sad Bronx recover from this difficult year. Any money that you donate tonight will go straight toward providing educational, spiritual, relational, and emotional support for students and their families. Your donations go toward job security for staff members like myself, many of whom are community members who have been supported by the program we now work with. Your giving is allowing us to thrive in this community and is allowing us to be part of the change we are working so hard to see in this community that we love. Tonight, I wanted to invite you to join us you can be part of this important work by helping us to reach our goal of raising $400,000. To help strengthen and support our programs, follow the instructions on your screen to make a donation. In a moment, we are going to watch a special performance from our very own dance team. As you watch them perform, consider how God might invite you to join him in this work of briefing renewal to the South Bronx. Got the heart, got the soul like Harriet 
A queen since she bone that was evident. That's evidence of black excellence. I can tell a good dog when I'm petting him. Know that if I have his tribe, he protecting him. Mother of a child of God, I invest in him. Nutrition and brown milk in him. Young Rose and young Luther keep marching. Floodgates coming, no, it don't stop him. Then hard work, let them know, ain't no trend in it. Popping off on the charts, that's a better win. Then popping off in the streets, ain't no checking it. I can tell a good dog when I'm petting him. Know that if I have his tribe, he protecting him. Mother of a child of God, I invest in him. Nutrition and brown milk in him. Young rose and young look that keep marching. Floodgates coming, no, it don't stop him. Wow, what an amazing night. What was your favorite part, Thailand? My favorite part was being your host. What about yours, Steven? My favorite part had to be seeing my friends on the dance team led by Seanette. Thank you so much for your generosity. We know that most of you have been part of the AHOP family for some time now. Thank you so much for supporting us the whole way through. We know there's some of you that's here for the first time, and we thank you for joining us. Our time together is almost over. After this, we're doing a live Q&A, and you can find the Zoom link for that either in your email or in chat. This has been an incredible night. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye. Bye.